We were with great women, Asia, Maryam, women Allah mentioned in the Quran, Surah Maryam is there. But this Khadija radiallahu anha, there's a special connection. She is your mother. This is your mother now. Ummul Mu'mineen. We are the Mu'mins, inshallah. According to, you know, we don't want to go now into the tafsir of usul of the ulama of uh, Tawheed. Can you say I'm a Mu'min, inshallah, or can you say not? I will not say that. But let's just say we are the Mu'mineen. And the people of Iman, as long as you are a Mu'min, your mother is Khadija. Your mother, literally. In the sense that she is your caring mother, she is the wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where Allah Jalla Jalla says, وَأَزْوَاجُهُ أُمَّهَاتُهُمْ His azwaj, al-tahirat, mutahharat, are the mothers of the believers. What is sad, and I'm talking about myself, is how much short we fall from knowing our own mother. Especially Khadija radiallahu anha. As if we don't mention her, she doesn't exist. Where is Khadija? Khadija, the one that Islam really went on her shoulders. Ummul Mu'mineen. Where the Imam Zayn al-Abideen. Ali ibn Hussein ruh ila al-fida. When they ask him, who are you? He says a couple of words. He says, Ana ibn Khadija al-Kubra, Ana ibn Fatima al-Zahra. I am the son of Khadija al-Kubra. I am the son of Fatima al-Zahra. Ana ibn Adimat al-Uyub, Ana ibn Naqiyat al-Juyub. I am the son of those who didn't have Ayyab. Ayyab means imperfection. They were free from imperfections. Anabnu Naqiyat al Juyub, the ones who are pure. We are with the footsteps, at the footsteps of Khadija, Ummuna, our mother, radiallahu ta'ala anha wa ardaha. And we're asking permission to enter her Hadra and her oasis. Her world that she gave us. Allah, Allah. <coughs> we left Khadija Ummuna radiallahu anha wa ardaha. We left her with Nafisa, her friend, coming to visit her, knowing that the convoy was already done. Things are settling. I'm sure she's happy now. She's got her trade back, business back, money. Alhamdulillah, was good. But you know, it takes a woman to know another woman, right? They will tell you that. Man. Only a, the only woman understands women. Nobody else understands them. Well, they maintain that anyway. You will never understand. Nafisa looked at Khadija and she realized what you know. And also, as you know, women are persistent when they want to know. And usually they always want to know. Right? Again, this is not uh, a gender specification. I'm just saying that in general. She kept at Khadija, Nafisa, until Khadija radiallahu anha told her what was going in her mind. What's going in your mind? Tell me, she, she insisted until she told her. This is what I am thinking, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, this young man from Bani Hashim, a Sadiq, a mean, he took my business, my caravan, he brought it back. I'm hearing all these things. I don't know what should I think. Uh, you think he would accept Khadija, the billionaire? You think Muhammad would, be, would accept if, you know, how, how, how would I go about this? You think he would marry me? Of course, Nafisa being the companion, she saw there's a role now for her to play. She's a companion of Khadija. She says, why wouldn't he marry you? If we talk about families in Quraysh, you are Qurashi, Khadija bin Khuwaylid, 
uh, from a nice tribe, sub-tribe of Quraysh. Okay, not Bani Hashim, but you know, you're not also, you're up there. If you talk about beauty, you know, friends, are beauty is always in the eyes of the older. Huh? Of course, she was beautiful, she's our mother after all. She must have been because we're all beautiful, right? If you talk about beauty, then you're beautiful. <coughs> if you talk about honor, then who else is more honorable than you, Khadija and Quraysh? You talk about lineage, who's got your lineage? You talk about money, who has your money? And the masters of Quraysh and the masters of the peninsula came begging for your hand and you rejected them. So why are you afraid? But Nafisa didn't stop there. She went to the other side. She kicked the Prophet said, no. And you know how open-ended questions, females usually ask you open-ended questions because they're not going to, you know, we ask, males ask, are you going to do this or not? No, okay. But females always ask open-ended because they want to know more. And you see, when you ask open-ended questions, there's no yes or no answer. There's, you have to give more explanation. Why? Now, that's good. And when you say something, then they, so you tell her you love her. You said, "Do you really love me?" So you know, tell her, "But do you really?" <coughs> Alhamdulillah. And that's the beauty of that. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made, made perfected their creation. Sahih. Inna khalaqna al-insan fi ahsani taqwim. Allah says, "We have created the human being." in the best of forms and their perfection in that subhanallah now <coughs> she went to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam and she said ya muhammad you're young you have everything you know why aren't you getting married and then you do you think about marriage allah Al-Habib Al-A'zam Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Sallam When she told him this Memories came back Of his mother The woman he is used to That left him when he was six The heart and the soul again Turns to that place That buried Amina Fil Abwa And though maybe and I can't tell you there is a narration in this, but maybe the, almost a tear would come when the Prophet when she's asking him, you know what? You want to share your life with the woman? He's used to his mother, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And then he's used the Fatima bin Asad taking care of him. Huh? But there is always a smile on the face of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa Always. Hatta sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'in, they always mentioned, we, anytime you look at Nabi Al-A'zam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You see him smiling Smiling is good Tabassam, smile Because tabassumuka fi wajhi akhika sadaqa Hatta Nabi Al-A'zam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Made this rule If you smile to other people This is sadaqa You don't have money Smile Some people they're frowning all the time they're happy, they frown, they're not happy, they It's not. Exercise <coughs> your zygomaticus muscle. Sunnatun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bashush al khuluq. His khuluq was simple and kind and soft. Smiles to the young, to the children, smiles to the elderly. Smiles to this, smiles to this was him, sallallahu alayhi wa In the most difficult of circumstances, you see him smiling. Because he has that faith on Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> he smiled and he said, Ma bi yadi na tazawwaj. I don't have the money. I don't have the means. I mean, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa was an orphan, after all. His mother died, his father died before he was born. He's living in his uncle's home, Abu Talib, who's raising him along with Ali. 